Hey, this is the Streams of Joy International Daily Devotion brought to you by Priceless. And today is the 22nd of June, 2023. And our topic is Besides the Waters. Our memory verse is taken from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. Hey, Mr. Chimo song. Auto and finish our fetio. I am glad because I have you. I have you. I have everything. Let me call you mine. Hallelujah. Let's continue with the memory verse. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah. Our focus scripture is taken from Psalm 23 verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside still waters. Hallelujah. So in our focus scripture, the psalmist speaks of how the shepherd leads him beside the still waters. Notice that the sheep was a woolly body. And if it gets itself soaked in the river, the extra weight it has gained as a result of the woolly body can make it drown. Do you understand? The shepherd knows that the sheep is at the risk of drowning in the waters and he takes the sheep just beside still waters. He brings the sheep close enough to drink but not to fall into it. If you remember yesterday's and devotion was even talking about how the shepherd would not just take the sheep to where green pastures were, where the still waters were, but he will also ensure that the, that the water is being... Um, 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 made still for it to drink of it because sheep don't drink from a running um, water. They are not um, made made up with that kind of. Um, they don't have that intelligence to drink from a running water. They rather drink from a still water. Hallelujah, friend. Did you know that the same shepherd that wants you to drink from the river does not want you to fall into the same river? Will he bless the Lord that blesses you? He does not add a cause with it. The Lord blesses you. He does not add affliction with it. Never. It is not the Lord. It is not God's making. It is not his makeup. It is not his blessings. Make it rich and add that no sorrow. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Did you know that the same God who brings you beside the blessings does not want you to fall into the blessings he brought your way? Did you know that the same water that the Lord has brought your way is for you to drink, not for you to swim in it or drown in it? Did you know that, that, that there is a posture for the waters God brings to you? <laughs> My friend, don't make the mistake of jumping into the waters when the Lord would only have you walk beside it. Don't make the mistake of making God's goodness to you in a priority over and above your journey with God. Remember the most, oh God, Rika Radiki Durosa This daily devotion is specifically for me, mercy. Hey, Rika Radiki Durosa. The Lord wouldn't cause you to get a particular, um, um, to get what you've been praying for and then have you like go back, like reduce. Um, your 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 mode of worship, your time with Him, your your intercessions, your your uh, personal relationship with Him, your personal prayer time with Him, and all of that. No, 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 no. He rather wants you to intensify that as because He has given it to you at that point of encounter, that point of relationship and of fellowship. So He does not want you to get those things you request for, requested for, and then just be like, okay, you just came to Him because of what you needed no 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 that shouldn't be our reality or our portion in the name of jesus rather the more we get what we need from god the more we intensify prayer the more we intensify our relationship closeness um prayer life worship praise our life living for him and all of that hey my dear friends don't allow your desire for the physical things that god does for you to consume you don't allow your blessings to ruin you. Don't allow the overflow that God has brought to you to take the place of God himself. Oh God, please have mercy. Lord, we pray for mercy this morning in the name of Jesus. If truly you are a sheep in God's pasture, then soaking yourself in the waters of divine provision can become the excess weight that will drown you. If truly you belong to God and have a walk with God, 
then let your journey with God matter more to you than his provisions for you. Let where God is taking you to matter more to you than what he has provided for you. Let your advancement matter more to you than mere increase. When the chips are down, you were only meant to drink from the waters. You were only meant to walk beside the still waters. You were not sent to jump into it. Hallelujah. Let us boldly declare. I won't be distracted by divine provision. <laughs> My blessings will not drown me in the name of Jesus. Do well to join us for our 7 a.m. fire prayers. It will soon be time. This is um, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6 a.m. So, tomorrow is Friday. And, um, you know, our, day, our morning fire prayers um, from Mondays to Friday. So, Sunday is service. Do well to join us. Just check the captions for more details regarding the prayers and um, regarding our thursday evening services and today's thursday yeah and our sunday first second third and fourth service do have an amazing day see you tomorrow ciao